Welcome back. Problem 1-84. This problem is taken from chapter number 1 that is stress and the book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. Statement is the frame is subjected to load of 4 kN which act on member ABD at D. Determine the required diameter of pins at D and C if allowable shear stress for material is 40 MPa. Pin C is subjected to double shear whereas pin D is subjected to single shear. So you can see this is the frame clear that is acted upon by 4 kN load at point D on this member A, B, D only clear. So this given that this C there is a pin which is uh, acted upon by double shear and at point D the pin will have a single shear. So you have to determine the diameter of pin at D and C. So let's start with the solution. What we will do is that we will take this member ECD and we will draw the free body diagram. So first let me draw it first. So let uh, this is the member. Clear. There is a point C over here and at this point we have point D. Clear and you can see there is a roller support at point E so when you remove it so you will be having reaction force which will be in up, uh, upward direction let this is N E clear this is your point E and this is your point D and there is a pin support at point D clear so when you remove it so you will be having a reaction force uh, you will be having a reaction force along horizontal let it be like this this is dx and you will be having a vertical reaction force which is long which is taken upward and let this is dy at this let this point this point is point c so you can see at c there is a member so if you remove this member so you will be having a force which will be equal to fbc and this fbc makes an angle theta with this horizontal so what we will do is that we will find this uh, theta distance between this e and c is one meter clear and distance between from c to d is 1.5 meter okay also uh, if you look at this figure so this is 1.5 and this is 1.5 and this is the theta angle so this theta will be equal to if you take let this is theta angle so if you take tangent of theta so this tangent of theta will be equal to perpendicular which is 1.5 divided by base which is 1.5 clear so theta is equal to tangent inverse 1 which is equal to 45 degree so this theta is equal to 45 degree now we'll apply equation of equilibrium in order to find the dx dy and uh, this fbc because here you can see you have these pins at point c and d so what will be the equation of equilibrium so we will uh, first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moment about point e is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about point E, the first moment will be this dy and perpendicular distance is 1.5, uh, sorry, 1.5 plus 1, 2.5, clear. And this is 2.5 meter and this is producing counterclockwise moment, so it will be positive. So I will write dy into 2.5. Now you can see this FBC will have two components, one along x-axis, uh, one long horizontal clear this component if you resolve it into its rectangular component and other one will be a vertical component so this component will be equal to fbc sine of 45 degree and this component will be fbc cos of cos of 45 degree since this horizontal component is passing through point E, it is not producing moment. So only vertical force is producing moment and this force into perpendicular distance is 1 and this is producing clockwise moment. So it will be negative. So I will write minus 
एफ बी सी साइन ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री इज इक्वल टू जीरो परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस इज वन सो आई विल ऑल्सो राइट मल्टीप्लाई बाय वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो फ्रॉम हेयर यू विल गेट टू पॉइंट फाइव टाइम्स टी वाई इज इक्वल माइनस साइन ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव इज जीरो पॉइंट सेवन जीरो सेवन सो जीरो पॉइंट सेवन जीरो सेवन एफ बी सी दैट दिस इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड लेट दिस इक्वेशन इज इक्वेशन नंबर वन नाउ विल अप्लाई इन अदर इक्वेशन ऑफ इक्वलियर दैट सम ऑफ ऑल फोर्स इज इलांग एक्स डायरेक्शन मस्ट बी इक्वल टू जीरो एंड फोर्स इन दिस डायरेक्शन इज टेकन एज पॉजिटिव सो यू कैन सी वन फोर्स इज दिस वन विच इज एफ बी सी कॉस थर्ड फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री एंड सेकेंड इज दिस वन their sum must be equal to 0 so i will write fbc cos of 45 degree minus dx is equal to 0 so from here cos of 45 is 0.707 fbc minus dx will be equal to 0 and let this is your equation number now what we will do is that we will take the free body diagram of this a b d member so let me write it it take member a b d and draw its free body diagram so remember this f b a b d so i will draw it over here so let this is your vertical member clear this is your point d where you have horizontal dx clear you have vertical component which is dy let me draw it by using another color this is your dy clear and at point d it was also given that 4 kN load is applied on member ab d so let it makes this 4 kN is this one this is 4 kN and it is making an angle of 45 degree that is given at and this is your point a clear this is at and your point a and you have pin support so you will be having a vertical reaction force and this is represented as ay as well as you will have a horizontal force which will be equal to ax and at point b this is your point b so at point b you can see you have member cb which force here is shown fbc is downward so according to newton first law this will apply force in this direction the magnitude will remain same so fb c will be in this direction okay this is fb c and this angle is 45 degree this is 45 degree so if you look at so distance between d and b is 1.5 and this is also 1.5 so this distance is 1.5 meter and this distance is also from b to a is also 1.5 so we will apply now equation of equilibrium in order to find this dx and dy so what will be the equation of equilibrium so we will apply the first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moment about point a is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive okay so what we will going is that you can see you have uh, this fbc it will have two component one will be this this component will be fbc cos of 45 degree and one will be the vertical component which will be equal to fbc sin of 45 degree similarly this 4 kN will have two component one along x axis which will be equal to 4 cos of 
45 degree and one will be the vertical component clear which will be this vertical component will be 4 sine of 45 degree okay now applying this equation of equilibrium so this vertical component will is passing through point a it is not producing moment these two forces are not producing moment because they are passing through it so one component which is producing moment is dx clear the other one is 4 cos of 45 and third one is this fbc cos of 45 this component will produce moment so i will start from this 4 into cos of 45 and perpendicular distance is 1.5 plus 1.5 and it is producing counterclockwise moment so it will be positive so 4 into cos of 45 multiply by 3 so i will write 4 into cos of 45 degree multiply by 3 the second force that is producing moment is this fbc cos of 45 and perpendicular distance is 1.5 and this is also producing counterclockwise so it will be plus so plus fbc cos of 45 uh, degree cos of 45 degree clear into perpendicular distance is 1.5 the third uh, movement is due to this uh, dx and this dx into perpendicular distance is 3 and this is producing counterclockwise movement clear so it will be also positive uh, you can see here okay so one thing you have to made correction you can see here at point d you have taken dx in this direction for members ecd so this on this member this d dx will be in opposite direction so i will have to change this direction only this dx will be in this direction so this dx into perpendicular distance is this and this is producing clockwise movement so it will be negative so i will write it minus dx into 3 is equal to 0 so now you can see this 4 cos of 45 multiply 3 will give you 8.4852 plus this cos of 45 multiplied by 1.5 will give you 1.060 and there will be FBC minus 3 DX is equal to 0. Divide this equation. Divide this equation by 3 to get dx clear so when you divide this by 3 so you will get 2.83 plus the second term will give you 0 0.35 fbc minus dx will be equal to 0 so from here you will get this dx will be equal to 2.83 plus 0 0.35 fbc let this is your equation number three so now what we will do is that put equation three in equation number two this is your equation number two you can see this is equation number two so 0 0.707 fbc minus 2.85 minus 0 0.35 fbc is equal to zero so 0 0.707 bc minus this will give you 0 0.357 fbc is equal to 2.85 okay 2.85 so from here you will get this fbc will be equal to 8 kilo newton 8 kilo newton now you have this fbc so put put value of fbc in equation number one and two clear to get dx and dy 
so you can see this is you have to put the value of f a b c over here and here so you will get this dx and dy so we for for f b c is equal to 8 kilo newton in equation number one what is equation number one you can check it equation number one is this one clear this one is equation number one so when you put it you will get dy will be equal to 2.263 kilonewton and for fbc is equal to 8 kilonewton in equation number 2 you will get dx and dx is 5.63 kilo newton now you can see dx and d this is dx and this is dy these are the two components clear and their net effect will be acting on this uh, this uh, will act on this point d and we will find this you can see if i uh, if I take it like this and this so its net effect will be like this so net will be like this so we will find this by using Pythagoras theorem so let me find that thus force acting on pin D is this F D and that fd will be equal to dx square plus dy square under the root so put the value 5.657 square or this 5.63 you can take that plus 2.263 square under the root so this fd will comes out to be 6.093 kilo Newton. Now you can see that the net force acting on point D is FD and this FBC is also there. So what we are going to do is that I will move to the next page. So first I will write it is given that pin C is subjected to subjected to double shear double share so if i draw this pin like this clear so this f this fbc was like this this is fbc which is 8 kilo newton let me show you over here this is fbc that is acting fbc and that was 8 kilo newton let me show this is 8 kilo newton so for double shear it will be the sharing will be like this vc and vc it is given this is double shear so this two times vc is equal to fbc clear so this shear force single shear will be equal to fbc divided by two so eight divided by two will give you four kilo newton clear and uh, uh, pin at D is subjected to single shear that is given so what does it mean it means that if you have pin like this th this is straight clear so if net force acting at point D which we have calculated is FD and that FD was 6.093 kilo newton so single share so it will share on one side so this will be VD so here VD is equal to FD for single share clear I will divide it by two okay now we have been given that allowable sharing stress and we know that it is equal to 
वी शेयर फोर्स डिवाइड बाय शेयरिंग एरिया क्लियर सो फॉर सी फॉर पिन सी फॉर पिन सी दिस एलावेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज इक्वल टू शेयरिंग फोर्स एट सी डिवाइड बाय शेयरिंग एरिया एट सी सो वी सी इज फोर किलो न्यूटन क्लियर सो फोर इंटू टेन इज पावर थ्री डिवाइड बाय शेयरिंग एरिया सो शेयरिंग एरिया इज द एरिया ऑफ पिन इज पाई बाय फोर डी सी स्क्वेयर क्लियर एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू इलावेबल शेयरिंग एंड इलावेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज गिवन एज फोर्टी पी मेगा पासकल लेट मी चेक इट फोर्टी मेगा पासकल सो फोर्टी इंटू टेन एस्ट पावर सिक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर इंटू टेन एस्ट पावर थ्री डिवाइड बाय पाई बाय फोर डी सी स्क्वेयर सो फ्राम हेयर दिस डी सी स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू फोर मल्टीप्लाई बाई टेन एस्ट पावर थ्री डिवाइड बाई पाई बाई फोर इन टू फोर्टी मल्टीप्लाई बाई टेन एस्ट पावर सिक्स एंड इफ यू टेक स्क्र रूट ऑन बोथ साइड्स सो यू विल गेट डी सी डायमीटर ऑफ पिन एट सी विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन वन टू एट मीटर और इन मिली मीटर इट विल बी इक्वल टू इलेवन पॉइंट थ्री मिली मीटर now we'll find this diameter at pin d so what we will go do is that allowable sharing stress is equal to vd divided by ad so vd is 6.093 kN divided by area which is pi by 4 dd square so from here you will get This d d square is equal to six point zero nine three into ten to the power three divided by pi by four, and tau allowable is forty megapascal. So if you take square root on both sides, so you will get diameter of pin at d will be equal to zero point zero one three nine three meter, or in millimeter it will be equal to thirteen point nine. मिलीमीटर विच इज द आंसर ऑफ अवर दिस क्वेश्चन एंड दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट दिस प्रॉब्लम वन डैश एटी फोर आई होप यू हैव इंजॉयड दिस वीडियो एंड यू हैव लर्न फ्रॉम इट दो आर न्यू टू माई चैनल दैन सब्सक्राइब इट एंड डोंट फॉर गेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू कैन गेट नोटिफिकेशन अबाउट माई लेटेस्ट वीडियोज If you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching